hit Glory Defined or the single Fearless from their last CD, Rise. But these guys are not the type to live in the past. They've been busy in the studio working on their latest CD entitled Iris to Iris. And we've got them here today. Please welcome Building 429. Thank you. Hi, guys. Hey. Hi. Welcome to the show. So how did y'all first get started as a band? Um, we started about actually seven years ago. We've been together quite some time, um, and we started actually in North Carolina. We all lived uh, uh, in Raleigh area in North Carolina, and just had a passion for music. Something that we always wanted to do. We felt like we were given some talents, and we wanted to go out and just kind of play the music that God had given us. And uh, Michael was actually in a band um, that that played a lot with Building 429. And uh, when that band ended, uh, we we knew he was a great drummer. So we we're like, man, we really need to get him. And so we grabbed him right after you graduated college. Yeah, with a marketing and CIS degree. <laughs> so he went straight and played in the band. And his parents were thrilled. Yeah, they were happy. <laughs> they were really fired up about that. But he came out and he kind of became the rock of the band. And then um, Jesse here actually uh, is from Texas. And uh, I, I grew right? up, yeah, yeah. And I grew up in the Texas area. And he's a little bit older than me, not a lot. Um, but he's in college age when I was in high school. So when I was in high school, I always w went and watched his band play shows and stuff like that because I thought they were just the greatest thing ever. And uh, when Building 429 needed a guitar player, I just <clears throat> thought, well, I'm, I should just give him a call and see. So I called a friend who knew a friend who knew where he was and, <laughs> and asked him if he might want to do it. And he said yes, and he came out, and, uh, and he's been with us now for two and a half years. So that's kind of the, the stars aligning. About so your new, new CD is yeah. Iris Iris. It Tell is. Tell us about that. Well, Iris to Iris um, is our third record, and third. it's kind of blows our mind how we got to our third record so fast. Um, but this record is really, um, I, I think it's it's very, a very inspired record, and I say that because the writing process for this record was completely different from any other record we've ever done. Um, usually we write out of, out of our lives what the good and the bad and the ugly has been like and how God has been faithful through all those things. And that's what we try to do on this record. And we got about 20 or 30 songs into that process. And I stopped and started listening back to the songs and realized that they just weren't really saying anything very profound and that they really weren't that good songs. Um, and so um, what I've always been taught to do by my pastors is, is uh, shut your mouth for a little bit, sit down, pray, and wait on the Lord to tell you uh, what you're supposed to be doing if you don't know what to do. So that's what I did, just sat down and waited on the Lord. And, you started all over? Yeah, started all over, started from scratch. But we got a very clear message from the Lord after, after spending time praying, God, what are we supposed to be singing about? And the answer was just sing to me. Just sing to me. Don't talk about yourself. Just sing to me. And so this record um, is the most vertical record we've ever written. It was the fastest yeah. record we've ever written or recorded. And uh, it's the most inspired, I think. What are some songs on the album that particularly stand out to any of y'all? Well, my, my, one of my favorites is uh, called Constant. It, not only because of the lyrical content, you know, talking about how, well, our desire to, to, to be with, with, with God and everything that has to do with Christ and... and and to be immersed in that, um, you know, the, the the line in the chorus says, "We can't live, can't live without you." Uh, but musically, it's just really, uh, really, it's it's kind of one of our deeper songs musically, and it's got a lot of really twists and and really cool twists and turns, and 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 uh, so that's why it's my favorite. Tell me about Iris to Iris, and where did y'all come up with that name? Because I read it and I was like, "Hey, that's a flower." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's funny because with that, the name we, we searched for names for a long, long time on this record, and usually we have it. We usually have it walking into the record. We know what we had. And we were actually in Germany uh, in December, and we were um, touring and playing some army bases over there. And our manager came in, and we he had been listening to all the tracks on the record. There was one song called "Waiting to Shine." Um, that says, I'm praying that you'll let the skies open wide and let your child see your eyes, iris to iris, we will be waiting. And he just quoted iris to iris, and as soon as he said it, we were like, ah, that's it, it's not thank flower, you, it's Jesus. Eyes. Yes, yeah, it's, it's eyes. <laughs> and that's the hope behind the record, that, that, people would, um, that people would sing the songs for themselves and be drawn in to the place where they can meet God on their own terms, face to face, without us being in that equation. Uh, because people who meet God uh, for themselves are the people who are changed forever. And that's what the whole hope behind the record is. Awesome. Has there ever been um, a story that one of your fans, a testimony of what their music has done in their lives? Yeah, I mean, we get tons of stories. All, and yeah. fact, Jesse does all of our MySpace stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so any emails that come in, he gets them and he reads them and he responds. Actually, Michael and I kind of pitch in here and there, too. Um, but actually, man, the, the coolest thing about, um, for me, about our music is that uh, our music actually has had a, a pretty 
profound effect on my own, my father, you yeah. know, and that's a really cool thing. Um, my my dad's uh, a, a really great man, and he struggled a lot in his life, um, but uh, through many different things, uh, just drug abuse and stuff like that. And um, but my dad, it's amazing to watch him. I, I can call him today, and uh, and I can be having a tough day, and he can, he'll quote my song lyrics back to me as as my encouragement it's a great you know. testimony of what god can do through you it, it really to is to help other people absolutely what would you say to kids out there right now that don't know about their life and they don't know if god is real what would you say to them <clears throat> Well, I think it's, 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 it's an old, age-old truth. It's I mean, straight, straight out of the Bible, but I believe this with all in my heart. I believe that, that when the Bible says, seek and you will find, um, I, I believe that that's truth. Knock and on I, the door and all. Yeah, and, and it'll be open. And I, and I think that um, a lot of times the Bible specifically is something we say, I don't know if God exists. I don't know if he's around. I don't understand what's going on in my life. And we read all these self-help books, but we never go to the actual word of God. Right. Um, and and I, I say that you know if you if you don't if you want to know even if you don't believe in God and but you want to know concretely that God doesn't exist and I dare you to go open up the Bible and spend some time in that and wait and see what happens um, because I, I I see that in my life when I spend time in the Word and and I've spent several days in the Word it becomes obvious to me that my God loves me and that my God is with me at where I stand no matter what I'm in and uh, and that would be my challenge to people if they, you don't know if God exists. Get into his word. It is his word right. brought to you. Mm -hmm. So open it up. See what he's saying. So off a more serious note, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's life like on the road for y'all and touring and stuff? Life, life is full of Uno for us. Um, life is full of Uno and, Uno and Xbox. And Xbox. And now Xbox. Xbox. Nerf football. And football and basketball. And, yeah, basketball. And basketball. And, yeah, we... we um, every, every chance we get, like we pull over to gas up or something. I mean, it's a 60 on tank, so it takes quite a bit to fill up. We just get out and 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 toss that football around. And Jason, the other the other night, tossed it over at McDonald's. Yeah, <laughs> it's all and the way over at McDonald's. Of course, had the wind helping. Yeah, it was the wind. <laughs> but it still, it was one heck of a toss, man. No, we play we play games and stuff yeah, like, we, like we play German Uno too. It's not regular Uno. German it's the Uno. real thing. It's like you really? know the game Speed. Yeah. Okay, you take Speed and you mix that in with Uno, uh, and, and then. I guess there's a little bit of fighting, like fist fighting <laughs> in the middle of that too. And that's what you get, yeah. German Uno, man, it's amazing. Wow. Yes. That's cool. So what's next for Building 429? Uh, next is touring. Um, we're going to be touring uh, hard. Um, this, this record is um, what we're going to be on now for probably the next year or so. Oh, and actually Hong Kong. Uh, oh, yeah. We're, we're Some international touring. Yes, we, we just found out. Well, you know, last year we went to Germany. I said that. Uh, this year we're going to go the other way. We're going to go to Hong Kong, and we're going to try and keep... Con I mean, that's what we asked God to do seven years ago when we started this. God, take our ministry to the ends of the earth. And, and uh, he's beginning to open those doors for us, which is just amazing. So we're going to Hong Kong in December, and uh, we're really excited about that. God has been faithful, hasn't he? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, keep it tuned right here. We've got more Building 429 coming up.